Elle me dire que t'étais rentrée, je suis allée boire un verre avec des collègues. Juste après le taf, pourquoi tu m'as pas appelé On t'a accompagné Ouais Ouais. Qui ça Une collègue euh, Une collègue. The film Blue is the Warmest Color was this year's sensation at the Cannes Film Festival. The film, directed by Abdul Latif Kashish, is a sexual coming of age story which depicts the relationship between two young women. The festival jury, headed by Steven Spielberg, made an unusual decision. It awarded the main prize not just to its director, but also its leading actresses. They are Adele Exacopoulos and Leah Sadu. They are the first women to win the Golden Palm since Jane Campion in 1993. Here is the trailer for the film. to have Adele Exacopoulos at this table for the first time. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, how old are you? Nineteen. Uh, this is a remarkable performance, and I ask that, and it means if you were nineteen, you wouldn't mind saying. Uh, it's a remarkable performance, and, and what it is for me, and, and I agree with what Steven Spielberg said, you know, it is this sense that you show so often in your face, a sense of curiosity. Yeah. Yeah. We have, like, two cameras really close to our to our face all yeah. the time and we have to be used to this and I like this idea because it was also a movie about skin and yeah. how much you can't cheat with your, with your face and expression and yeah it was always on us. But you were called on to act with your face yeah. even when you were not speaking. Yeah. yeah. How much experience had you had before this film? I don't know, like seven, but not the Nothing main Nothing of this role. size. Not the lead role, no. And this was a, a huge, I mean, a unique experience because Abdelatif Keshi is one of the best directors in yeah, France. Right. And Léa Seydoux is really famous, uh, even uh, internationalement. Yes. I mean, even in the world. Yes, 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 yes. And we have to make this patient together and to build this patient to create everything and Abdelatif will really have his own methods to work with improvisation, with like surprise, uh, with a lot of takes. Hmm. So it was like, yeah, unique. All right. I want to talk about the controversy and all that, but, but just about the, what, this is a story of what in your, in your words? For me, it's a love story. A love story. It's like a... First a, love almost. Yeah. Uh, 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 senti um, sentimental education. Sentimental education. Yeah. For me, it's like how one people can change your life, even if you're going to forget this experience, even if you break up, how one people can, like, uh, change you. Be and the attraction beyond the physical was the yeah. sense that sh she, she is so whatever she is that it... It's like nothing ever happened to me, and it's changing my life. Yeah. I'm going places, seeing things, feeling things, learning things, mm -hmm. never before. The character. Yeah, it's like she discovered this girl, and and she kind of obsess her. She yeah. Even in her dreams, and she she come and she 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 make fall all all of her education, all of her principe, and. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
And and tell me about the director and his style and 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 how he took the two of you and pushed you to great performances. Uh, Lea was already picked, and yes. me. I make a lot of casts. We have only the a comics. lot of addition. Yeah. Right. Sorry, addition. You, addition. We just have the comics book. The blue yeah. is the warmest color. And after I meet him, and again and again, he really wants to discover you. The first time he stay in silence, he just watching you. After he ask you question, and after there is a kind of spiritual things will come out from from Abdel. It's weird. I don't know how to explain. And you really want to confess to him. And one day tell me, okay, are you ready to make this love story? I want to treat the love scene, love scene like the other one, mm. uh, like a food scene. Uh, I really want to create a patient. And I was like, yeah, I want to be in. And um, so he just gave me the script and he told me, read it once and after forget it. I don't want you to focus on words, on situation. We, we gonna make improvisation, you gonna give something from you, we gonna play, mm -hmm. like a game. And so it's true that, he, yeah, he wants you to put things, but kind of unconsciously, like you with this, or he come before a scene, give you like a, a sentence or give you an idea and say, but forget it, forget yeah. it. And he just wants to it to make it work, but kind of unconsciously. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, but I, let me inject for a second. Uh, I assume that he chose you because he thought you could do with it, that you could go with that kind of technique. Yeah. Yeah. I think Abdel Latif Keshish watching for instinctive. Yes, instinctive, yeah. intuitive, instinctive. Yeah. He doesn't want you to think about the scene. He wants mm -hmm. you to live the scene, to be in the moment and in your instant. Mm -hmm. and, and when you got to the sexual scenes which you knew were coming, I assume yeah. or not. Yeah. yeah, we knew. I yeah. mean, it's all this. I want to 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 shoot this scene like the other one. I want to to I want that people uh, come in the bedroom of these girls and see how much it's organic and visceral between these. In other words, I want the audience who watches the movie to feel like they're in the room. Yeah. Then there's some controversy about. I mean, do you felt like you were pushed too far, or or did you thought that this was the way it was on this movie? I think now we all accept that it was like this, and I think I learn really a lot on this movie, more than everywhere. It's the best school for me, because wow. he, I don't know, he just put you there, learn you some things. He, he, is, he works with his fate's uh, team. Um, I don't know, he, for example, a traveling. Yeah. Uh, one day we saw a people like a tuk tuk in Bangkok, you yes, know, yes, like yes, a yes. people, yeah. and he, he stopped him and he said, like, can we try with your bike to to make something with your camera? And the boy was like, okay, but I have to work, yeah. my boss. And two hours uh, later, he told him, okay, you want to make the movie with us? Yes. Let's get on the team. And he was on the team, and you were making the bike during Abdelatif was making the traveling with the bike. So everything is new, everything is with nothing, you know. He doesn't, he, he really doesn't like um, fake things. We don't have hair and makeup artists, we don't have clothes, it was all clothes, or he go on the shoot and tell, okay, I love your jacket, give it to Adele or Leah. And he just wants emotion. So sometimes it was hard because he make many, 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 many takes. Mm. And he wants you to be, he wants you to abandon yourself, and that was, uh, that was what was art. Well, yeah. it was. Well, awesome. That was art. Yeah. Yeah. And I hear you saying that that it was a remarkable growing experience for you yeah. as a, as an actress. Yeah, and as a person. And yeah. as a person. Yeah. You know, what did you learn as a person? I discover people. I yeah. feel myself from like Lea Sedou. We become really close. You two are great friends now. Yeah, like she's she's like my grand sister. Yes. Uh, the first scene we make together was uh, a sex scene, so yeah. it helps to to present yourself naked and to be naked in front of the pe the other people. You know, there yeah. is no no hi or you yeah, yeah, you're right. just naked. You're just naked you're and just and yourself. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and we really have to trust each other. And and I. I learn. F I feel myself from people, from life, from experience like this, where everything it's intense. When you have to learn to share, I love the fact that Abdelatif takes successful uh, actress like Lea Seydoux yeah. and people from shadow to the light, like me and the other who are in the movie, and who really help me to be good. Yeah. And I think that's 
that's cool to let people have their chance to express themselves. You came out of this as a better actress than you went in. Yeah, of course. You know, and as a more interesting human being. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, no regrets. No. None. Yeah. All good. Not all good because it's a human experience and it's, for me, the movie, the shooting was like a patient with like big up and big down because of the subject, because of the Latino. Now what was big up? was the pleasure to play, the pleasure yeah. to meet people, the pleasure to build something to yeah. get together. Now, why did uh, the, the movie was based? The movie was based on, on a novel, uh, and the character was called Clementine. Yeah, and they changed it to Adele. It's because like three weeks uh, after the beginning of the shoot, we were trying a lot of names that we like: Clementine, Zoe, uh, Jocelyn, um, and we doesn't find like a, I don't know. A good name for her, and Abdelatif shoot you even in the train for going to the set or during your eating with your friends, yeah. uh, la cantine, you know, the, the break. Right, yeah. right, right. And so everyone, sometimes people were calling me f with my real name, and one day come and tell me like Adels, it means justice in Arabic language, and I like that fact. And does it bother you if you keep your own name? And I was like, no, me it doesn't bother me. I'm scared that people had a bad interpretation of my name and the movie that like a kind of like it's my life but for me it was really clear. Roll tape. This is a scene between you and Emma played by Elias Sedu talking about philosophy. Here it is. generation. <laughs> faire qu'on qu peut décider soi-même de sa vie sans aucun principe supérieur. Moi, j'étais hyper tartre dans mes années lycée. C'est vrai Ouais. Ça me faisait du bien. Surtout euh, dans l'affirmation de, de ma liberté et de mes propres valeurs. Et puis euh, aussi son exigence dans l'engagement. J'adhère complètement. Ouais, c'est un peu comme Bob Marley, quoi. Ouais. Je sais pas, je suis pas sûre. Moi, je suis presque sûre. Bah, les idées, elles se rejoignent un peu. Ouais. Tu vois, elles sont gay-up stand-up. Bah ouais, je vois. Bah, je trouve qu'il est engagé. Ouais, c'est vrai. C'est pareil que Sartre. C'est un peu un philosophe, c'est un prophète, c'est la même chose. En tout cas, j'espère que tu voudras bien m'aider pour mes sortes de philo, parce que t'as l'air... Euh... Bah écoute, quand tu veux. Some people raise the question, well, I don't want so-and-so, I wouldn't want my children seeing this. Do you have any thoughts on that? Like, uh, the, the intimacy of the sexuality between these two women that we just saw. For me, there is forbidden age yes, that's around a, the world. It, right. People take it like they want. For example, my, my young brothers haven't seen the movie. because They have not um, seen it? No. No. Because they are like 12 and 10, and, oh, yeah. and I'm their sister, so I think they're not really mature to understand that it's just cinema. But after some time, it's too bad because people make a big deal about this scene because there are seven minutes and they haven't seen it's like... It's a long seven-minute yeah. sexual encounter. Yeah, which and they are used to like beautiful light, two body, uh, sexual things, like one minute and it's finished. But here it's like real sex, real life. Two people who eat each other and will love each other and how we can be special with someone. I'm surprised that, that the sexual scenes were shot early because you would have thought that he might have wanted yeah. there to be a relationship yeah. before it got to that. Me too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what, we're going to make the dream scene? It was yeah. the dream scene right. the first together. After he, he lets our special relation evaluated yeah. and we go back from other sex scene. But we were all kind of like disturbed, but it helps. Kind of like disturbed. Yeah, because you are in front of someone, you are naked. But the first sex scene we make together were really, really funny because we were nervous, so we laughed yeah. a lot of you the situation. A lot, yes. Yeah, you don't know someone, and you're two minutes after you are touching her, making her In every pleasure. way, yes. But I think this is a part, just a part of the game for me, you know. It's acting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a part of the game. That's all. You it, and we were taking pleasure to make this scene. It's really more easy to make this scene than a. Uh, a cold scene where you have to be like really natural or a breakup scene when you have to be like devastating for me this is more simple and I think that also it's body language 
So you have just to let, to abandon yourself, doesn't be conscious that there are six people in the stage, that everyone is watching you, that your family is going to watch the movie. That yes. You just have to say, okay, I'm having In sex. the moment. Yeah. You were like totally the, in the moment. Yeah, like all the others, yeah. and I'm in the moment, in the instance, I love this girl. Yeah, and, and if it, I mean, in the moment, if, if you, you respond to what she does, she responds to yeah. what you do. And for me, it's must more easy because I'm not supposed to, it's my first time yeah, exactly. with a woman. So she has to drive me in the sex. Yes. And I'm supposed to, like, discover where I like it. Where. So it's more easy, and she has to dominate the situation. And after, like, all sexuality, it's evaluated. Yeah. What has this done for you, this, what Steven Spielberg described as a remarkable performance? It's so cool for an actress to have to play a young girl who became a woman into all his experiences. And it's true that for me it was really a special year. Like what? Right. I never leave things like this. I never dare to have such a prize like in Cain. Like for me, never in my life, I was hoping for like a Caesar one day in my life, but never like a golden palm. For me, it was like a dream. I have the chance to travel, to meeting people, to be there, to, 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 to discover everything, to meet different publics oh with man. different reactions. Yeah. To, to be like Cannes Festival, you have the sensation that you're born in a kind of way like an actress. You see people that you love, like Steven Spielberg, Christopher Waltz, uh, Nicole Kidman, uh, everyone, you have grew up with their cinema and they are here uh, and they tell you how much they like the movie. So it's uh, it's bringing you a directly recognizance and that it's special. Recogn recognition. Yeah, we were talking with girls just before to be there and we were telling this, like in no job you have this kind of direct recognition. You, there is no job w where you, when you finish to work, people say like, yeah, good job, that's cool. <laughs> and I think everyone will be happy to have this. So yeah. I'm lucky and, and it was my lucky year. He, uh, he said, the director said, I would say that I push the actresses towards what I imagine. Sometimes one encounters resistance and then you have to figure out a way to break down the barriers to get to the result I'm looking for. And sometimes when you can't get there, you discover something else. Yeah, that's Makes, true. Yeah, so it, pushing you to go one place, he may have discovered something else that yeah. that he did not imagine going in. Yeah. yeah, we were really working in team, like the three of us. Leah got a big experience. She she's special in all her movements, with acting. So she feed me a lot. She feed the scene a lot. Now, how did she do that? Feed the scene. Naturally, she come. She have a special face. You know, you can project Leah in everything you, you want to. She's like a, a, a phantasm for me, I think. Yeah. She can be a blue lesbian experienced girl. She can be a queen in like another world. She can be in the future, in the past, in the present for me. She's yeah. really she can be good, bad. She yeah. can be happy, sad. Yeah. She can be, you know, inspiring, yeah. depressing, all of those things. that. So f for me, she's a rich girl. I mean, interior mm. interiorly. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing to me. Have you thought about this? Uh, it, all of this has happened when you're 19. Yeah. So I'm scared that in five years I'm going to be <laughs> forgetting <laughs> by everyone. I don't think so. I, I don't mean, think so. Because people put you pressure, you know. You are yeah. come from the shadow to the light. Everyone is like, wow. Yeah. And you say, if my next movie is bad or if people doesn't like it, maybe they, they put me, there will be more um, strict than if I haven't got all of this. Yeah, you will be judged by a high yeah. standard. Thank you. You know, I mean, they'll yeah. expect things of you next time. Voila. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Pleasure to have you here. Me too. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Thank you.